Hey guys, welcome to the GoPro GPS Quick Fix. We will see how to enable performance stickers or gauges in GoPro Quick for videos that do not display them out of the box. This happens especially with the newer cameras, Hero 8 and GoPro Max, but also with previous cameras when the GPS signal is not that good. So as you can see here, even if this video was shot outdoors, Quick does not allow us to add any gauges. The first thing you should do is double check that your video contains GPS data. For that, you can use the GoPro Telemetry Extractor. I'm going to use the premium version, but you can use the free one too. Just drag and drop your original GoPro video file into the app. Wait for it to process. And if your video contains any GPS signal, you will see it at the top of the screen. This app allows you to make many more things with the data, like visualizing it or exporting it to other formats like Google Earth or Adobe After Effects. So have a look at the specific tutorial of this app if you're interested. If you don't see the GPS stream, that means your video does not contain any of it. So next time you film, make sure you've enabled the GPS setting inside the original settings screen in the camera. Then turn the camera on before recording and wait for GPS signal acquisition. You can identify that by the white bright pin in the top drawer. Then wait a bit more for the signal to be good and start recording. You will only get good signals outdoors. And for many more tips on how to get good GPS data, check out the frequently asked questions linked in the description of this video. Now let's go to the GoPro GPS quick fix. The first setting you want to look at is the tolerance for bad GPS precision. High means that every GPS value, no matter how bad, will be accepted. None means that no new GPS data will be accepted. But this setting is still useful if you're trying to get quick to accept footage from the new cameras. One more thing you can do is changing the output folder to your GoPro Quick Media folder so that the output files are easier to import. Keep in mind that you will need plenty of space in your hard drive, as video files are huge and in this case we're going to duplicate every one of them. Now grab your file and drop it into the app and wait for it to process. It's important to note that this app will not really improve the quality of your GPS signal. It will just force Quick to display it. That means that if your signal was bad, your speed and GPS path will still be bad, but you will be able to see them on screen and use them in the video. Open the destination folder, which in our case is the source one too. Go back to Quick and use the settings to rescan the media folder. In some cases, a new file will appear. Some of the times you might just get one file with the new data. Open it. And as you can see, gauges are available. Precision is pretty bad in this case, but at least some sections of the track will display valid data. You might want to play with the tolerance settings until you get a decent result, which is not always the case. And also be aware that Quick sometimes has a hard time refreshing the new videos. So you might have to move files around, refresh the media folder, close Quick, open it again, and things like that until you get it to see the new data. That's it for now. If you like this, you might be interested in some of the other software that I have for GoPros and DJI drones. And as always, if you've got any doubts, feel free to ask, I'm always around.